Dependency At the edge of a forest, two young men were running helter-skelter, screaming for help. Apparently, they were being chased by a big, wild, and hungry wolf. Incidentally, their screams were heard by a hunter who was not far from the place. The hunter rushed over with his hunting rifle in hand. After getting the right position, the hunter immediately fired his rifle. Bang, bang. Two consecutive shots hit the target and knocked the wolf straight down. The two young men were very grateful after surviving death. Still shaking and teary-eyed, the two approached the hunter and introduced themselves. Thank you, sir, for helping us. If you weren't there, maybe the two of us would have been preyed on by the wild wolf earlier. After getting to know each other, the three agreed to make the dead wolf a dinner together. Immediately, the three of them made a fire to warm themselves as well as roast the wolf meat. While eating the roasted wolf meat, the two young men told their origins and occupations. As it turned out, one young man was a merchant, while the other young man worked as a rifle salesman. That day, they had just finished buying and selling merchandise in a village across the forest. After being satisfied with talking and exchanging stories, they agreed to meet again three months later at that place. As a sign of gratitude, I will give you a cart of wheat and food to meet the needs of your family for three months, promised the merchant. The gun dealer didn't want to lose. Since you saved my life, I will bring you a new rifle as a gift along with a thousand bullets. The next day, the three of them parted with joy in their hearts. The two young men continued on their way, while the hunter returned home with the rest of the wolf meat. Arriving home, he excitedly told his heroic story to his wife and child. Wife, from now on, you will no longer have to work so hard. Because soon, the young man who I saved his life will come to see me with a wagon of wheat and groceries. It's time for my old rifle to be destroyed. Because I'm going to get a new gun, along with a thousand bullets from the other guy. Good luck is on our side. Now is the time to relax and take a long break from hard work. Long story short, Three months have passed, but the young man did not come at the agreed place. It wasn't until the fourth month had passed that the rice merchant rushed over with a wad of wheat and groceries. Sorry, I came a month late. My village was hit by a flood so that the harvest failed. This is the wheat and food ingredients that I promised you earlier, said the merchant. The hunter immediately looked down after looking at the merchant and his cart filled with food ingredients. Before he could say a word, suddenly the gun seller and his luggage appeared. I'm sorry I came late. There is a riot in my city. All types of weapons are prohibited from being traded and bullets are difficult to obtain. So it's only now that I brought here the rifle and bullets that I promised you earlier, said the rifle dealer apologetically. The hunter still sat languidly and occasionally wiped away his tears. His body was emaciated and his breath hitched. Thank you, you guys have finally come too, he said very quietly. But all these gifts are for nothing. Your gift will not be able to revive my wife and children. You know, for months we waited for your goods to be delivered while starving. Finally, my wife and daughter could not stand it and starved to death. After telling the heart-wrenching story, the hunter breathed his last. The two young men wept bitterly regretting their lateness that caused this tragic event. 
rely on the gifts, favors, or mercy of others. And at the same time living idly is clearly the same attitude to life and the consequences will be fatal. Because, no matter what and whatever our circumstances, we ourselves must be responsible for our own lives. Even though they know the consequences will be fatal, many people take such an attitude of life. Many examples, for example a child depends on the help of his parents. There are also children who only rely on their parents' inheritance. In the family, there are also relatives who constantly expect the mercy of other family members. Dependence is usually always followed by a lazy attitude and not willing to try harder to change his own life. Thank you for watching.